what's up guys and welcome back to the channel today we're out here on the boat in the maiden voyage with the new motor on it got a long tail i've got to show you all the new motor and all that stuff show you how the boat's set up we'll do that boat we'll walk through at the end of this video but this is um the maiden voyage with this new motor new setup on it and everything so we'll see how it works out we got the rods out let's see if we can hook into some captain Alright guys, so the boat's fully not uh, completely set up yet, just yet. We still got a couple more rod holders to put on and a couple more things to do to it. It make a little bit more room. Sorry, still trying to get everything straightened. Uh, so for right now we got four rod holders out the back. We're going to take around the garner rails on the side of this boat. We're going to put more rod holders there. But uh, it's got a 670 Predator long tail, beaver dam long tail motor on it. Uh, for the size of this is a 1650 or 1672 so it's a little bit wider boat than what they're made for but it still pushes us i think we got up to what maybe 15 16 miles per hour in this boat today with a full, full throttle um i gotta install a fuel pump on it for some reason it's not wanting to pull the fuel i don't know if it's through the bulb if you know guys leave a comment down there let me know what i need to get done to it but got the fuel pump to put on it the electronic fuel pump to push the fuel up to it it just seems like it's not getting enough fuel so we'll fix that but for right now we're out here fishing and it's about 50, 48 50 degrees already this morning overcast cloudy day uh, so we'll see what happens right now we're sitting in about 30 foot of water fish swimming all around us so hopefully we're hooking into something good Yo guys, that's a bad case of called getting anxious. I had two good bites and I real them too soon, but oh well, part of it. That's what happens when you're used to boat fishing. You just use that clicker, take it off and running. Like that, no, that's the boat sliding. See, they got me on the edge already. Just about. All right, guys, so we're gonna reel up, move spots. Uh, too much boat traffic through here we're getting hammered with waves every three or four minutes boats come flying through here which is expected it's right off the main lake at a point um this is more of a winter a good wintering spot for us but we'll see what happens we'll see you guys at spot number two are you recording yeah all right guys spot number two yeah. i didn't get the i was back there setting the tripod up and this got hammered and t-top said oh, oh hey 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 yeah, here he goes. Looks like a okay Simon. He's not big, but he's new. He'll be a little channel cat fish. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Ain't too bad of one for our first fish. On the new white rod. Ooh. This is the Mackins rod. There, there you go. go. Big old healthy channel catfish. Guess he'll go home and we we'll eat him up. So, first fish, good old channel catfish, boys. Now let's see if I can't get this trimmer set up and stuff. All right, All right guys. So, finally got everything set up. Hopefully, let's see if I can get this camera just a little bit better. There you guys go. I don't know what's going on with that tripod. Sounds messed up. I'm gonna have to order a new one again. But uh. First fish, channel catfish here at this spot. We ain't been here maybe five minutes at the most. So I'm gonna get this other baited up out there and see if we can hook in some more. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna run to another spot. Gonna try to fish the river channel maybe a little bit. Creek channel, we fished two creek channels this morning. So we're gonna try to fish the creek channel that runs into the river channel and get into both. A little bit deeper spot. So we'll see what happens, but we'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, well, nothing at those last couple of spots besides that one channel catfish. So, slow day of fishing, but, oh well. 
Uh, got to try out the new boat motor and all that fun stuff. Uh, when we get home, I'll give you guys a complete boat walkthrough of it. It is a uh, 16, uh, 72 um, Monarch boat with a, uh, now it's got a uh, Predator 670 long tail uh, motor on it. So uh, when I get home, I'll show you guys a walkthrough. I've got four rod holders on it now. I'm gonna put some more Garmin fish finder on it, but uh, we'll give you guys a full on walkthrough of the bad boy. And that's what we're gonna be fishing out of. So hopefully we catch a lot of fish. Around here, The uh, during the summertime, the, the rivers go way, way down. And that's because they took out a couple of the dams um, to save a mussel around here. So there's some shallow spots that I got to get through to get some good fishing holes. But we're going to try it out, give it a go. So with this motor, I should be able to get just about anywhere I want to. So we'll see you guys when we get to the house. And we didn't catch no more catfish. So I got that one channel catfish that I'm going to fillet up and put in the freezer. But... After we get back to the house, walk the boat through, and that'll probably be the end of this video. So we'll see you at the house. All right, guys. So we are back at the house finally. Oh, actually, we've been back for a while, but had a bunch of other stuff I had to run and do real quick. So first, to start at the front. Got a Minco controller motor. This is a foot control controller motor. Uh, Forty pound thrust. Uh, and then to right down here, storage compartment in here. Stuff for bait. Uh, spare stuff like tools band-aids and stuff that goes in that orange box cooler extra battery uh, this is basically the basics of this boat um, anchor box and then we'll turn you guys around real quick and I'll show you this motor all right guys so the motor is a long tail it goes all the way out I got four rod holders inside the boat we're gonna take and put rod holders all around this gunnel for when we're fishing the river but all this is is a predator 670 engine it'll fire right up i think i got the key with me actually yeah so we'll fire this bad boy up for you guys no need to put any propeller or um any water to it or anything Right, guys and there she is like i said 16 foot boat kind of wider boat for me and dad to fish out of great looking boat uh garmin fish finder over there on it i'm gonna put another fish finder up front up like right around there and we'll see how she goes all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and close this video with a prayer so dear god thank you for this day thank you for watching over us lord thank you for allowing me and dad to have a safe trip out there lord thank you for this this easter coming up this tomorrow lord thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for us, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, so we'll see you in the next one. But as always, guys, God bless, live life to the fullest, and we are gone.